Hey guys, it's Steve, and I don't know, I think I'm going to make another video right now. I'm um, just discussing stuff that I've been doing in the higher realms, and... And, um, well, I'm sorry, I stopped. My camera just did something weird. And, um, what we're doing, what we're planning. Um, well, a few weeks ago, I was meditating, and I was brought to the pyramids. I reattached... The, the golden cube, the golden triangles on top of the pyramids. And then I went into the pyramids and Thoth was, Thoth was there. And he brought me all the way down to the void inside the, the pyramid. And past the void, there were a bunch of monsters. We zipped right past them. And on the very end, there was like a black portal. And Thoth went in there. He grabbed the emerald tablets, and we proceeded to go into some room. Um, as I was meditating, the emerald tablets appeared over my my. I was like this. Emerald tablets were in my field, and I was vibrating with it. We were reconfigurating the lost pieces that I found from the artifacts that I was finding. And we put it all together, and we converted the emerald tablets into the diamond tablets. So it matches the energy of the new grid. And they were all, they're all like diamond colored energy. It was all translucent and very electrical by nature. And it was just glowing, like these tablets were, were glowing. So I did that. And then after, after that, I had a crazy snowstorm about a week after all that. I had a really intense snowstorm. So I believe uh, what, after we activated the tablets, we energized the pyramids. So it sent energy all the way up to the higher, the higher um, spaces where the weather is. It pushed energy, energy all the way up to the North Pole. And it created the storm that put down six feet and it's funny because the building that collapsed was my work and i've been doing tons of magic in there tons of darkness was there and, and um it had to get clean so after all that happened the area around my area was just super fucking heavy for like a whole week every time i would go out there my heart would just fucking go it would go erratic and we were doing all stuff clearings doing all Shiva dances and blowing up shit in the higher dimensions. It was just insane. And um, and then something really big occurred a week later after I went into the pyramids. I was meditating. The, the Uraeus activated in my third eye. I found myself in Memphis sitting on the, the throne of the Temple of Ptah. And I started... Um, my root shot out like a root. My root and my body shot out a root directly, directly down from the chair in in the um, the chair chair in the throne. The energy shot down into the circuit below the temple. It was lighting up all the energy nodes. I ran into some interference to clean out the channels, so I would cough and. Um, when I saw the energy activate inside the temple, there was this blue light, and the hieroglyphs lit up in all of the columns and stuff, and it just kept it kept shooting right out the temple, all of Memphis, and then and then it went to the Giza pyramids, and I saw the whole circuit of Egypt as well. So we were just like energizing and everything, connecting, because Memphis is like the brainchild of all of Egypt. So we were just connecting circuits, and that's connected to the Karnak temple as well, and. Um, we're just activating Egypt, getting the light codes into into the air so people can download what they need from their DNA. Everyone that's been involved with Atlantis is, is our program that we decided to to do after everything fell. And um, so I activated Memphis. That was really, that felt really good. And then just a whole bunch of other stuff just kept attacking. We ended up finally getting to the Orion sector back in September. Shot energy from my Spica star. 
Uh, and then we just kept slowly cleaning it out. Elena Danan was really involved with a lot of the the intel that was going on with that whole Orion war. But I was, I uh, George Lucas was making me watch uh, Return of the Jedi after we we I think we, that that was the day that we captured the Emperor. They had me watch. Return of the Jedi, and all I did was cough the whole time, releasing stuff as we were attacking. It, it, it just hurt, you know. And I, it was fun too, because I was like super energetic, uh, like just like let's all like it just all came from love to just like bring the love back to this realm that we had to get rid of some people that were in the Orion sector. So we did that, and then the next day we really just dismantled like pretty much everything all around the area i watched uh star wars a new hope cough my brains out again then i watched empire uh the empire strike back cough my my fucking brains out clearing trauma out high vibration and my buddy was with me and he was freaking out a little bit because there were there were some times where i was it was just a, it was so violent especially when i went into the yoda scene uh, I went into his darkness, and I found out that he was actually taking advantage of women, and this was my master. Everyone's got some darkness they don't want people to know. Even the people that train you have fucking darkness, and they hide it from us. Like, you can't hide it from us anymore. We're stronger than our masters now. And this is the way it should be. So, um, nothing against them. They trained us well. You know, we're there to protect them as well. So. Um, and so far that's, that's all that's been really going on and I've just been waking up tired from dreams. I, I don't really dream too much. I've been smoking some bud. So, I mean, whatever it is, what it is, but I do, I do a lot of meditation, astral work. So it makes up for it. And, um, it's about it. I'm just cleaning a lot of systems. Uh, my twin brother brought me to, to the Armenian sector and that, that's like, somewhere in some chaos zone all the planets and stuff were just like flying all over the place it was so chaotic that the armenian stuff is going to take a little bit to to heal a lot of it seems like a lot of people were fighting each other in their in their own faith and it got ugly and now they just got taken over so we've been working on that my brother's really huge in the armenian stuff so it is what it is. He like brought me. He's like, yeah, this is what we're dealing with. So I, I ended up turning into like this big golden bird, and uh, and I brought Kuan Yin with me, and there was so some other deity that I brought with me, but we ended up cleaning that out. I coughed out a bunch of stuff, and so we initiated the healing, and it was connected to, uh, to Pers uh, not Perseus, um, Pegasus. That that was what that was the energy that came up when we were cleaning that out with Pegasus. And that's pretty much it for now. Um, I feel like I'm kind of getting a break a little bit right now, considering all the stuff we've done since August till November. So, well, and if more stuff comes up, I'll, I'll let you know some groundbreaking shit, you know, because we're really moving forward with all this stuff and it's amazing. And I'm really happy. Um, I saw, oh yeah, I was I was sitting out in the moon yesterday, or two days ago, and uh, it felt really good. I felt the connection, like the really soft moon energies that we've been really working toward creating, they got activated, and I, then I saw an Arcturian spaceship fly across the sky. It was like a little, it was like a little star, but it was moving, and then I, I connected to it, and it was, our, it was an Arcturian signature. So a lot of things moving forward. Uh, disclosure is definitely like coming soon. They, there, there's no way they can hide this anymore. There's so many people who are just getting messages now, and there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna be embarrassed with everything. All the all the wrong medicine that they put into this world, all the pharmaceuticals that destroy our minds. It's it's all coming to an end, and we are the disclosure. We are here. Uh, you just got to connect to who you are, your galactic family are. We came down here to finish this job. You know, we are, and it's, it's, it's here. Next five years, just, everything is just going to just be completely different. 
the way people think, how they feel. Like it's, it's all coming forward. And some people are going to really have a hard time because they were supposed to awaken and they haven't become active yet. So to when they bring out their trauma, it, it just might be really tough for them. And it's, it is what it is. They signed up for all of this. So, all right, happy battling and keep your, keep your chakras clean and keep going. We're almost there.